What is going on YouTube? Shane here. Um, this is kind of a reaction video slash crazy K-pop news update. It's going to be in the form of a reaction video, but I'm going to talk about it afterwards. Uh, this is a group that I had not heard of before until someone messaged me about it. Then I saw it on um, Soompi. Uh, this group's name is called Six Bomb, and basically they're doing, I guess, what you would call a huge publicity stunt, in my opinion, uh, of showing before and after of plastic surgery in the k-pop industry not hiding anything about it completely coming you know clean not not even clean about it, just completely being uh completely transparent about it and this is um 100 million dollars worth of plastic surgery uh, so I'm going to about that. So 100 million, about 90 grand uh, worth of plastic surgery, US dollars uh, with the plastic surgery. And they did like a before video before, and this is the after video, uh, which basically I read that they did pretty much everything they could do on their face and their boobs. And it's about $90,000 worth of plastic surgery. So uh, I think this video does show some of the before. Uh, if it doesn't show enough, then I can probably put that in this video too. But uh, we'll talk about the ramifications of that after um, we check this out. But I definitely got to check this out because this is pretty crazy. Um, uh, and I want to thank the person that messaged me on Twitter. Uh, it was uh, Monica at Kawaii Nickel 111. So thank you. She's the one that first uh, mentioned it to me and then I saw it on Soompi as well. So uh, let's check this out. Uh, this is the Yapujunun. Chumimnida after this is uh, basically becoming this is be, uh, becoming prettier after part. Yepujinun Jungimnida after. Uh, so let's check it out. Here we go. Oh, so they are going to show them going into this, the clinic here. So I think there's some of the stuff's in the before part too. Is this be very creepy? Yeah, this is before, and they're going to show after. Okay. I mean, they take such a stigma of the Korean industry that everybody tries to hide and make it completely out there. Yeah, you all look like completely different people. And I was reading the members are quite happy with, with what they with what they look like. Scared, scared me. So this is like now they're almost parodying it a little bit that they're in an operation room. Really? You're a good girl. You got you spent Iroko on, on plastic surgery together. Yes. I mean. All right. You know we're gonna. This is the reaction video, but I'm gonna make it a, a social commentary instead. Yes, we know that they did just about everything on their face, including the widening of the eyes and their breasts. Their breasts are very obvious. I mean, their boobs are pretty big. And the eyes are very obvious, and their cheeks and their jaw lines were obviously shaved. I don't know if there's just too many new groups lately. K-pop is changing too much to where people will do anything for attention. You remember last year and the year before, it was all about doing really crazy sexy concepts, like too, too sexy, too sexual. Now they're going to play on the whole plastic surgery thing. Now let's watch a little bit. Yes, I get it. You're 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 more attractive now. You look you look prettier. You look cuter. But that's the point of plastic surgery. And but to be honest, I I give this company some props in the fact that they went through the surgery and are actually showing and broadcasting it almost kind of in a sarcastic way. So in one way, you can kind of you can, um, let me listen a little bit. Okay. You can kind of look at it like they're actually trying to show what the Korean music industry does, which a lot of you guys know and don't want to think about it. You know and you accept it. You don't know about it. Or you completely say that it doesn't happen. 
Yes, your idols do get plastic surgery. A lot of them are, in my opinion, and some supported by evidence, forced by their agencies too, as well. Uh, some is their choice as well, but it's not even about cho uh, choice or choosing because um, as much as I love South Korea, it is a very image-based society. Um, unfortunately, especially with uh, women. So that's kind of what they're basically kind of broad uh, broadcasting, showcasing here. Um, and I'm just going to be honest, I, people might not like my reaction to this, but you can see the, 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 the reviews on this video are quite low because both Koreans and foreign fans are, like, are not going to like the fact that they're doing this like this. Uh, I can't really say that their dancing is very on point. Yeah, yeah, your faces and your breasts, as you paid Irokwon, uh, 100 million won for, all came out pretty well. Uh, I mean, as I would hope, if I, sorry, I played it again. Uh, if I spent that much money on plastic surgery, yeah, I, I better come out looking like, like, uh, amazing. Yeah, you all look great now, and I want to take a look a little bit. Uh, I might not include it in the actual video here. All right, guys, so I checked the before uh, video out, and let me just kind of give you my thoughts. Um, after watching the before part and listening to like how the, the lyrics are about I'm becoming pretty or I'm in the process of becoming beautiful, um, yeah, it's a little fucked up. It It's fucked up. The, the social stigma around, around, around this whole topic in Korea to begin with is, is strong enough and then to go and make a video highlighting it, this video, the before video, I'll include both videos in the description so you guys can watch them. They're based, they are music videos, and this is the thing about it, this is not like it's like a commercial for a plastic surgery clinic or something. Um, this is a music video, two music videos. One that shows them without makeup and before their plastic surgery, which you can tell they look, so that was an accident. You can tell they look, uh, much less attractive. I'm not, I'm not going to be dishonest about it, but I mean, that's the purpose of getting plastic surgery is to become, as I said, more attractive. But I'm not saying that that's something that they need to do or any women or any men need to do in Korea or anywhere else. And again, it's a music video. And number two, plastic surgery, okay, we know, and we have to accept this, and I'm going to talk about this. South Korea does and performs the most Plast the most plastic surgery on this planet. On this planet Earth, this is the country that gets the most plastic surgery, and it is a very image-based society. Now, uh, I'm from the U.S., and I mean, I'm currently in Korea right now, and as you guys probably know by now, even if you're new, I, you know, try to be in Korea as much as I can, and I really love Korea. I mean, why have I been doing this YouTube channel, and why do I love K-pop and all that stuff, you know, uh, you know, all that kind of things, you know, for such a long time. Anyways, but, you know, there's no perfect place, and there's one thing about Korea, for example, this. And it is a very image-based society, uh, and I do feel a little bit bad for the women because I feel like it's still very patriarchal uh, in nature, and the women are a little more um, oppressed, in a way. Uh, not in terms of um, extreme... Uh, how do I say it? Let me, let me put it like this, without getting political about it. In terms of image... They're very much oppressed, I would say. It's my, it's my personal opinion. Uh, Korea is a patriarchal society. that You can look that up in a textbook. Uh, I'm taking classes right now here at this university that even discusses that. Uh, it's been like that since, you know, uh, basically ancient times. Um, that's changing. And, you know, women, of course, are, are there's like more feminism and stuff, and that's ha uh, that, those kind of movements that are happening in Korea as well. Uh, maybe a little bit slower than than the West, but then again, you pro a lot of you guys probably know my positions about the West. Why am I not living there right now? Why do I not live in the country I'm born in? Do I have to say more than that? Uh, so, you know, you probably understand my opinions that I really love South Korea, <laughs> uh, just to put it bluntly. But uh, I can also socially criticize a few things like this, because do I care if people get plastic surgery? No, it's their choice. Uh, is it a little strange that South Korea gets the most in the world? It's a little weird, but whatever you want to do, you want to do. It, is it a little bit upsetting that women in Korea feel like they need to get it because it's very image-based society? Yes, it's very upsetting. Um, but this is... They could have done this in a way where it was like a parody or a social commentary, not what they did here. If they would have paradized 
the Korean uh, entertainment industry showing that, oh, you have to have plastic surgery, you have to be so beautiful, and then actually do it, then that would have a really strong point. Because, yeah, they do look really gorgeous, and, and, and to show that, oh, I have to be this gorgeous to be popular in the industry, I have to be this gorgeous, or I'm not going to make it, and, and kind of parody it, but actually show what they look like and show how that's actually what happens, that might have a stronger message overall. But the way they did it here is almost like, not a parody, almost like it's a normal thing and it's funny and we don't give a shit and the company's like, we're just gonna do this, spend uh, almost 100 grand on plastic surgery and we're just gonna show it, we're not gonna hide it or anything. Yeah, does do the biggest idols get plastic surgery? I'm sorry if you don't know this. I was shocked when I found out about it too when I was, what, 16 years old? Yes, they do, most of them do. A lot of people say, oh no, they didn't. Yes, most of them do. And some of it, some of it's their choice. Some of some of them get it during their time being debuted. Some of it comes out and they have no choice but to admit it. You know, A.K. Minji of of twenty one. That was just too obvious that they had to admit it. Um, but you know, if you ever look up idols and look up pre debut photos, you're gonna see that they they got plastic surgery. And of course, they also have professional makeup artists. You know, in these big um entertainment companies not to say that a lot of the idols aren't naturally beautiful to begin with there's many idols that are naturally beautiful but some of the even some of, some of the naturally beautiful idols as well still get plastic surgery either by pressure of the company maybe by force i don't know uh or by their own choice uh because possibly other pressures including this type of pressure of, uh, of living in a culture that's very image uh image centered uh, especially around the women uh, but this six bomb group and what they're doing here is really weird. Uh, in the before video, you actually can even see them getting the the. They're at the clinic. They're picking out what they want for their face. They you can see the they're putting the the, the surgical stuff on. They're in the surgery room. Then you see the little lasers going on, and then you see the, the, them wrapped up in the plastic and the uh, the plastic mesh stuff and the the cream and the all this weird crap. And then, of course, you know, the, the one that you just saw in the reaction video shows a little bit of parodying it. Not, but it's not a parody. They're not actually parodying it. They're just showcasing what they did, which is to have the surgery and what they look like now. And yes, obviously now they're, they're showing off their sexuality and sexiness and what they look like now and their image. And sorry, I played again. I'm looking through here to try to sh make sure I cover everything. Uh, yeah, as you can see, throughout, the, throughout this, they have like, makeup and lipstick lipstick that they're holding um you know they're looking in the mirror it's showing a very image-based society um what they're wearing is you know i'm not gonna say it's the most sexual thing but it looks they look kind of like um uh what did soompi call it that was a really good description of it uh soompi gave it a really good um uh word what they say look with like ice skaters or something like that uh someone said that uh yeah figure skater-esque outfits yeah that, that that's a good way to, to, to put it they look kind of like figure skaters but as i'm looking through this video right now uh while i'm talking to you the dancing is i'm just gonna say it it's subpar they're not very talented when it comes to that uh that might be by design that might have been by choice uh i'm not gonna comment that i mean i'm not saying they're the bad singers or good singers but you know they're kind of average for a group but this this dancing i'm not a dancer i can do that as well uh, but the whole point of this, I believe, I'm going to mute it and watch it a little bit again, is, is what they're doing is just showcasing what they did. And they're kind of, you know, what they're doing here is just literally just showing their, the upper half of their body, emphasizing their face and occasionally emphasizing their breasts. And it's, yeah, it's socially a bit ridiculous and it's overall quite ridiculous. Yeah, you can see what they look like. They look like completely different people. Of course, they look more attractive in the second one, as I've said, but that's what the point of plastic surgery is. If you're unhappy with what you look like, you can, you know, change that. But what they're doing here and what a lot of other idols are coerced or forced or, or must do because of the, of the whole um, way that the entertainment industry works in this country is that they have to look gorgeous. They have to look beautiful. Not just the women, guys. The guys as, uh, as well. Uh, tend to do a lot of a lot of work as well, and you know you guys know that Korean men wear makeup, of course, just as other you know country celebrities do as well. So don't be fooled by that. But it's not just the women; it's the men as well. But uh, the women are more highly stigmatized, which I don't agree with. Uh, I'm totally for equality of everything, 
unless you're a fucking idiot. I mean, that, 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 that's how I say it. I say, I don't care what you, what gender, race, if you have a gender, if you race, color, I don't care if you're purple, I don't care what planet you fucking come from, I don't care where you're from, as long as you're fucking nice. Uh, as long as you're a good person. I don't care what you do. If you're a fucking asshole, I don't, then, then all the other stuff's out the window. <laughs> but stigmatizing women or being in such an image-centered society like South Korea, uh, you know, can be difficult for women uh, as well as any other entertainers in the industry, um, including the men, but definitely an emphasis on the women, which is sad. But this video, this is ridiculous, guys. I'm just going to say it's pretty ridiculous that, that we do this. Um, nothing really against the women. The girls, if they wanted to do this, I read that their manager... Uh, wanted them to do this, uh, but they also went through and agreed to do this, so it wasn't forced, and I understand that it's not forced, but the reasoning was that they're going to have to do it anyways because they're idols, and people are going to notice it either way, so why not make it public? And while that's true to that's true to an extent, it's not addressing the problem of the entertainment industry in Korea requiring plastic surgery to begin with. It's just saying, oh, we have to do this, so let's just show it off and make a music video about it. No, what you could have done was to say, this, if you're really going to do this concept, which you're going to pay 90 grand on plastic surgery, if you're going to do that, then at least do it in a way that's going to make a good social impact and social image um, based around this topic. And like I, I already mentioned that, that would be saying, this is what the Korean industry demands. So here we are. We're not going to hide it. We're beautiful now. We decided to do this because if we want to be in this industry, we have to. So we have to do this, but then kind of give social commentary saying that this is not how this country or this entertainment industry in this country should be. Because otherwise, you're glorifying it. You, you, you're kind of saying that it's it's okay, it's right, and let's just be open about it. Yes, you. I agree with being open about it. This is here for a reason. I agree with being open about it, but you have to do the next parts in, in the series, which is to, to if you're going to do it, parody it and say that in a way or show in a way that it's not the right thing that should be happening to begin with. And two, then give, you know, uh, another reason for other entertainment industries, uh, other companies in the, in the entertainment industry to change their ways or change their viewpoints or for us to understand an educational viewpoint. Oh, South Korea has this type of a stigma. South Korea has this type of an image-based society, especially in, in the entertainment industry. Uh, we, you know, either we're aware of it, which I am, or some people aren't. Now we're aware of it, and maybe this, this should change, you know, kind of present that kind of thing as an example. Not glorify it and then say, oh, it's okay, and then basically show that it's right, oh, we're beautiful, okay, now we can be successful. Yeah, you can could have parodied it and said, yeah, we're beautiful because we have to be successful. But this is the wrong thing for this entertainment industry to be doing. Not saying, oh, we're beautiful, we're going to be successful, and this is great, we're going to be great now, this is what's right. And that's what they did here, in my opinion. So the, this, this agency is called The Not Entertainment. The music video has uh, twice as many dislikes as likes, uh, which, of course, on YouTube, the algorithm shows only this many, uh, this much of the blue bar, and then you know this much dislikes because the way they 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 present that, um, you know I'm not gonna say anything bad about the women and their choices, but the agency and the manager, even if they say they didn't force it, the way they went about this concept, um, if they were really gonna make a a social point about this, they could have they had an option here to really make a social impact here, but instead. What they did here was the exact opposite of that, and what they're going to do for these these women here in this group is is the exact opposite of making them popular. It's going to get them so much hate. Uh, not because they had plastic surgery and they came out about it, but because you're making it like it's like it. I don't know how to how to describe it because I'm trying to say parody. Parody is not the same as a joke. They're coming out here like it's a lighthearted joke, like, oh, I'm pretty, I'm beautiful, this is, this is, this is correct. Parody would be like making a joke, of st a st making it look stupid. St maybe they could still do it to make the, a stronger point and, and still look gorgeous like this, but then come out and say, like, we're beautiful because we have to. We're beautiful now in this, in this, in this uh, entertainment industry because it demands it. Not be like, oh, we're beautiful, now we're going to be stars. Uh, there's a totally different thing between those two concepts. 
Uh, and this agency, Denali Entertainment, had the choice between those two, and the manager made the wrong one. And I'm going to say that flat out. Uh, but I'm going to say either way, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with getting plastic surgery if you want it. I don't think Koreans should do it as much as they do because they think they have to. If you want to, it's your choice. But uh, I wish that women and, and men alike weren't pressured or stigmatized into... into uh, um, getting any kind of operation done because they're, they think they're not beautiful enough or they're not up to the standards of the idols. These people are looking, these young high school students, just like I was a young student when I started watching um, K-pop, are looking at, um, let's, let's say back when I was there, looking at Super Junior, looking at Sun Shu Day, or now we're looking at, we're looking at Twice, we're looking at Blackpink, we're looking at Red Velvet, we're looking at Bangtan, we're looking at EXO, we're like, whoever we're looking at, we're looking at Infinite, and we're looking at how gorgeous the women are how handsome the men are and the and the, the korean students especially are like oh i need to be that be that beautiful i need to be or the guys i have to be that handsome and it's also putting in the reverse the girls thinking looking for guys that are that attractive and the guys looking for women that are that attractive uh maybe and i'm a guy so i can defend women more <laughs> easily than i can defend men uh, maybe even more so on the side of the men uh, looking down on women in Korea for it uh, and women being more um, f feeling forced into getting some kind of plastic surgery done. Uh, but this group, Six Bomb uh, and, their, and their entertainment agency did not take the right path here. Uh, and that's my firm opinion on that. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, with the surgery. And I'm saying if they were going to do it anyway, which is what they said, then they really could have made a strong point by by parodying it and showing what's wrong with the Korean industry, even if they're beautiful. Because, I mean, in the end, hey, you're beautiful at the end anyway, and, you, and then you can be popular from that. And they could have been really popular and actually gained a lot of national attention, positive attention, from the fact that, yeah, they're beautiful as idols because they went under plastic surgery, and then went on a social commentary showing that this is what they had to do to, to survive in this industry. And then that would kind of put, like, a big grinding halt to the normalcy of this industry, and make people kind of open their eyes a little more to what's really going on. Even though everybody in the industry knows about it, they're not blind to it. They just shut their mouth about it. Their eyes are wide open about it, but they keep their mouth shut. In here, their eyes are open and their mouths are open, but they did it in a way that wasn't um, going to give a strong, positive message. In this way, they did it in a way that's going to give a very bizarre, strange, what the fuck are you doing kind of message because the production company did not try to show that this that this is wrong or that, that there's something not good about having to do this in the industry they just went ahead and did it and showcased it and then showed that now they're beautiful now and that they have to have plastic surgery to be beautiful which is not a message so don't listen to that message you don't need plastic surgery to be beautiful that's all I got to say, guys. Don't follow these type of idols and, and think you have to have plastic surgery to be beautiful or to be attractive or whatever. I mean, I'm happy with what I look like. I said if I ever, you know, I, I was as a joke, I said if I got a, a, an operation, I think I would maybe get my nose done, you know, because my nose is a little bit big, you know. But am I, am I unhappy with what I look like? No, I'm happy with what I look like. If I was unhappy, would I maybe get plastic surgery? Maybe. It's my choice. But that's not the point. Personal choice is one thing pressure or forcing or feeling the need to do it because of other people's opinions or because people around you are you think they're prettier or the idols are prettier or in this case the entertainment industry demands that you're beautiful those reasons are not a re not good uh reasons to get a plastic surgery or get anything done you don't want to do if it's just you want you, f you feel like you want to do it then you do it but if you f are getting pressured or in any uh, or feeling like you need to do it then that's not the right message. And this is what that's, this is showing. So this is a reaction video, but the main point of me doing this video was a social commentary about um, the image-based society in Korea. Again, this country is not perfect, but not, neither is any country. And I'm going to say that uh, I love South Korea, but I also can find, you know, the faults in it like this. Um, and this is one thing that does need to change in this country is this over-sensationalism based around image and that's being broadcast to everybody in Korea because all the idols, not all of them, or most of them uh, get some kind of surgery. Or even if they don't get surgery, they're all, you know, every day with professional makeup artists, 
you guys can't, nobody can deny that. They're, they have, you know, professional makeup artists, so they're always glamorized, you know, to an extreme extent. And that's, you know, pretty much any celebrity in the world, but Korea does it more. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but this group, uh, uh, this group's agency really should not have done it this way. They really should have made a statement about it and not shown that, like, this is what we need to do. Oh, we're becoming beautiful now. You don't need plastic surgery to be beautiful. Uh, and this is, like, very anti-feministic, in my opinion, and I don't like that. Uh, I, I, I'm all for equality and everything, and um, I don't agree with any culture being too patriarchal or too... Uh, okay, so I, I was looking through the video, and it's paused right on a, a, a thing I, I totally missed at 301. If you go back and check, it's just a, it, the girl. You can see her gigantic breasts. Uh, which I didn't even notice. Uh, I don't know how I didn't notice that. But um, but um, anyway, I don't agree with anything being patriarchal. Uh, patriarchal. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop rambling, guys. I, again, if you want to check out the videos, which are very bizarre, uh, they're in the description below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, this is not intended to invoke any hate on these girls. It's not anything against the girls. Uh, in fact, I think the manager's an idiot. I'll say that. I can just, that's my opinion. I think he's an idiot uh, for doing that. And the agency's an, uh, fucking stupid uh, for doing it like that. Even if they wanted to do the surgery, they had to do the surgery, whatever. They, like I said, they could have done it. The surgery, even if they wanted to do the surgery, the $90,000 of the surgery, they still could have done it and presented it in a way to say that this is not how our industry should be. But instead, they said, no, we're going to glorify it and glamour. I can't, I don't know, make it glamorous even more than it is. And I think that's the wrong message to be sending to the younger um, generation that's going to be watching these videos. Uh, you know, like the high school students that are going to want to get plastic surgery when they graduate. I don't think this is the message they need to be seeing here in Korea. Um, I think they need to be seeing uh, a social commentary that says that this is not what you need to be doing. Or this is not right. Uh, even if they did the surgery. Because doing the surgery would make it a, even a harder... Uh, and stronger point, you know, say, hey, we got the surgery, but this is not how it should be. But no, they're like, we had the surgery, and it's right. And that's where I, I think the, the manager and the and the Nala Entertainment is fucking stupid, in my opinion. And that's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. I'm not slandering them, I'm just saying I think it's stupid, and it's my opinion. Uh, I'm not stating any facts, I just think it's just stupid the way they went about it. Um, but I guess people on, on Tumpy pretty much agree 339 people are shocked, 56 people are crying, 42 people are have to fire thing, uh, and it uh, looks like people are pretty much uh, with me on it, and if you look at the ratings for the video, it's, you know, same thing, um, so, yeah, the only thing, the only thing I can say is, yeah, at least they're honest about it, but very poorly thought out, I just, I'm picturing that the manager is just, I, I'm not gonna say anymore, you can probably look at my face and see what I'm thinking. But if I was that manager, and I w well, I wouldn't make them get the surgery. But if, if, if I was in that position, I would make it a commentary against doing this. Or at least show that, you know, we have to do this for our, for our artists, you know, in the industry. But not showing that it's correct. And then glorifying it. Like, yeah, it's silly. So, oh well, guys. Um, you know, usually I don't do reactions like this, but this this is not really a reaction video. This is a, a commentary. This is more of a, uh, a, a one of those videos where I like to talk to you guys, kind of a news update video, which is including a reaction to something because that's what I'm talking about in the news. So let me know your thoughts, guys. It's pretty thought provoking. Um, and until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is a long video, uh, but hey, if you let me know you made it to the end, let, leave me a comment that says um, uh, Shane's K-pop videos. Uh, is cool. <laughs> Something stupid. Something stupid like that so I know you made it to the end. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.